Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we intercept, how we capture the API request of re and response of the web application by using the Selenium and Python. Okay. So here I have one application. This is the weatherstack.com. If I refresh right here in the data of the weather information, you can see this data is coming from the API. Let me show you here. Go to the network tab. Select the fit XHR. Refresh the browser. And you will see here the API request. Here IP address is a query parameter which is automatically detect from the my network and send the request. Based on this IP address, it's returning the response. If I op change this IP address of different location, it will give us the uh, details with the information at, of that particular location. Now, in this tutorial, I am going to show how we capture all the API as well as the other request by using the Selenium Python. Okay. And I will also show how we intercept and change the IP address at runtime. And you will see from different locations be the information. So all those intercept and change I will do during the execution of the test case. And let's see how we do that. Now we have one AP library that is Python module selenium wire, right? So we are going to use this. By using this, we will change, we will update the request. Now, Selenium Wire extends the Selenium's Python binding to give you access the underlying request made by the browser. So it is basically wrapper class, which is over the Selenium. This is extended over the Selenium, which give us the access, some methods by using, we can handle the request of the browser. You author your code in the same way as you do in the Selenium. Means we can write the Selenium test as same like we are doing uh, in Selenium. We can do by using this library same way. But you get extra API for intercepting request and response and making changes to them on the fly. But we, if we use this Selenium wire, then we will get some extra APIs, some extra methods which will intercept request response and it will helps to make the changes. So here, so first step, what we need to do, we need to install this uh, module. So copy, copy this, go to the PyCharm or our uh, terminal if you want to uh, install the command line. So I am using here PyCharm. So I'm opening the terminal of PyCharm and then pasted here pip install selenium wire, okay? Now, this is installing and Selenium 5 wire 5.1 is installed successfully. Now, here, if we want to run the Selenium, right, we need to import the Selenium web driver. Now, we are going to use this, so Selenium wire. So, I will use here the Selenium wire and uh, to import the web driver. Now, here is a simple example. You can see from Selenium wire import web driver and then create a web driver object, navigate the URL, and then we can write the code like this driver dot response driver dot request. It will get all the requests. So let's type here. Okay. And uh, now our code looks like this for request web driver request. So it will capture all the request which is sent using the browser. We are running a loop and printing the URL response status code and the request header content. Okay. So three things I am, I am printing when we have response. So for each request, if we have responses, then I am printing these three information. Let me run. Okay, browser is closed 
and here if i look we can see each and every request which sent like css js all requests we sent this url we uh, we can see here all details right you can see also our api request let's see where is this here this is the request we send the api to retrieve the weather information okay now if i want to get only this details let's see how we do that rest we can skip because rest are the images js only we need this uh, json uh, re re request response detail okay so for this let's add here some uh, condition right what is the condition so i can use here if request dot url okay so we can apply if this url part right in request uri then we are printing otherwise we are skipping so now it will print only the api request other information we will skip so i am running again and here as the output yeah here you can see as output this is printed okay only one request other part is skipped now how we retrieve the json body means how we retrieve the response json body let's see let me uh, come uh, remove this so first we can get a response here we have uh, decode the body right so let's decode first this we have a response response dot body response dot header what we are getting right we can decode this here we need to import this so we basically uh, using the selenium wire we have here decode okay dot utils so this is coming under the utils and then we have decode selenium wire dot utils import the decode and then we have this response this response object okay and then it give us the body this body this body dot decode we can use utf hyphen 8 okay and this will give us the body content let's print this and here you will see the json data let me run content we can see right this json json content you can see this is printed same data which we receive from the, from the response is displaying here okay so in this way we can capture the api request which is used in the web applications apis okay which we are retrieving using the apis okay through web application now next i am going to show you how we intercept 
the request okay how we change the request by using the this module library so if i go in the url you will see here sections table contents installation creating the web driver accessing request request object response object next is the intercepting a request and response okay so how we intercept we need to call this driver dot request interceptor okay let's do that so let me comment this okay so this interceptor we need to create a method for this now here we have this one request dot header okay and uh, then we can pass here the request as the argument okay so we can apply this condition this one because we are going to change the request request only for the apis right if if we can check here request.url contains this then we can change the request url okay request url equal to request url dot replace we are going to replace the current ip with a new ip okay let's see okay so this is my current ip okay so i am going to replace this with the new ip okay let's see the new ip i'm going to change this so this is different ip this is from the istanbul ip right so let's replace this here now i am going to run and in the ui you will see it will it will show the istanbul weather information so this interceptor we need to call before the we send the before we navigate the url right otherwise we will it will not update so i move this before navigating the url and now if i run you will see it will change see here istanbul turkey weather information we are getting in the ui okay so in this way we can intercept we can change the request of the apis details right here i change the request url similar type we can change other information okay like if we want to change the header we can replace the header value okay replace the existing request header right we can delete using the del method and then we can create new one add a response header right we can add response header like this add a request parameters for the request parameters we can get the params using the param request for dot param then change the parameters or update the parameters by using this approach update the json or post request body by using this code we can update the json body there is also some other examples we have changed the basic authentication by using this interceptor 
request dot header authorization pass the here basic authentication or any token numbers which we need if you want to abort like we have some images those images we don't want to open so let's see this so i am going to uh, add here one line of code okay request dot path end with dot png or jpg or gif these request i am aborting right these response you will not get let me run and after that you will see here the images because this is the image right this image you will not see here let's see Yeah, wizard information image is now not loaded. This is aborted. Okay, so hope this library will helpful to understand how we intercept the request, how we change the request response details. Okay, how we capture the response of the web API web applications and compare the data with our applications. Thanks for watching the video. And if you like the tutorial, click on the like button subscribe the channel and also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and leave a comment if you have any query let's meet in the next tutorial